Hey, today I'm gonna to talk about trailers and the mobster swim jig. The first three trailers, I'm gonna call traditional trailers. Yum Craw Chunk, Yum Spine Craw, and the Yum Christie Craw. These trailers can be used with the shake technique, and these trailers lend themselves extremely well to the speed retrieve, where you just cast to your target and you burn it back to the boat. Now, another trailer that I personally like is the Yum Money Craw. Now what this trailer does, it has a little slower motion, so I'll put this one on the 5 16th ounce swim jig and I'll slow it way down. I'll keep it near the surface, but I can slow it way down because of the bulk of the bait. It's a great technique when you apply the float where you hit an open pocket of water and you slow it way down and kind of let it just float in that open pocket. Now, the next set of trailers. These are near and dear to my heart because I love fishing them in cold water, but you can also fish them in the summer. The first one is the Yum Pulse Minnow. As you know from videos in the past, I fish this a lot, this combination a lot in the winter time. Now, another fantastic trailer is the Scottsboro Swim Bait. It offers a different profile and a little bit different vibration in the tail end. I fish this bait when I'm fishing suspended fish off of break lines. Again, I'm applying the slow rolling technique to these. Now, the five inch yum grub. This is an absolute killer when you fish a situation where you have currents such as rivers like the Mississippi River, the Ohio River, rivers with current. You just cast this thing out up current and you swim it past grass points, blowdowns, stump beds, anywhere there's current, this grub excels. Now I have a, oh, this is just a crazy technique. Now the, my, one of my secrets is I throw the mobster swim jig with the tiptoed, the yum tiptoed. And this is nice because when I come into a situation where I have some matted grass, some broken pockets, I fish this bait because I can reel it on top like a toad style bait. When I hit an open pocket, I let it drop in the water column, shake my rod tip and keep it coming. As soon as I get to the end of the pocket, pop it back on top of the grass and skip it across the grass. You will get explosive strikes doing this. It's something the bass haven't seen. You can fish it fast and cover tons of water. Now that you know about all these different trailers and all these different ways to fish it, you can analyze the water you're on and pick the right trailer for your situation. If you like this video, hit like, comment, and subscribe, and you won't miss a thing.